great majority of time, an aneurysm does not cause any symptoms. The only time it causes symptoms is when it ruptures, bursts, and causes bleeding into the brain, which presents with the worst headache uh, of the person's life, uh, plus other neurological problems depending on how bad the bleed is. Most aneurysms do not cause uh, symptoms until they rupture. Now, in rare cases, when they're very large or giant aneurysms, they can cause uh, pressure on the surrounding structures, cause visual problems, problems with the eye movement, things like that, and then we can find an aneurysm. But generally, they, you, you don't know if someone has an aneurysm until it has burst. A lot of times, uh, the way we find out that a patient has an aneurysm is they hit their head, got a scan, and they found an aneurysm on it by accident. Or they were having headaches, a doctor ordered an MRI or a CAT scan and showed an aneurysm, and then we investigate that further. But uh, outside of something, uh, a situation like that, we can't uh, know who has an aneurysm and who does not. Generally, uh, the percentage of the population that has an aneurysm is, uh, is anywhere from 0.1% uh, to 3%, depending on which study you look at. Uh, most of those aneurysms do not need to be treated because they're small. Uh, some do need to be treated. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't make sense to uh, screen the whole population uh, for something that's so rare.